Hi there. This is a video demonstrating in AutoCAD how to isolate a layer and the difference between the options to lock and fade or the option off and what they will do. So you can see I have three different things and they are on the different layers. road, site, and houses. And I have my layer properties manager pinned open so that you can see what happens with these. I want to show you that you can, even if it is not the current layer, you can right click and you can isolate the selected layers. So I'm gonna do that. And you can see that not much changed, but look what happened here. It essentially locked all of the other layers in the drawing. And if you look at the property control, they are locked and you can selectively unlock them. Or you can unisolate them if you try to unisolate them, it won't work because you didn't actually use the lay iso command. You used this command, um, which is some is a menu command. It's something different. So let's go and manually unlock because that's what we have to do when we isolate something from this menu. So let's try that again. Let's Let's isolate, uh, I wanna isolate this one. You can either do verb, noun, or noun, verb. I prefer noun, verb, whenever I can get away with it. So I'm gonna come up here to the isolate button. And again, things seem to still be there. I, I can't, ha if I tried to hatch this site boundary, uh, it would hatch around all of those objects. And that is not what I want. So let's try and figure out what was happening. First, let's unisolate everything. So that was something looked like it, we know that it was locked and we know that they were faded. So let's do the lay iso command on the command line. And this is why it's really important that you do know how to execute commands from the command line window because very often there are things that are set in those commands that can be changed. And if we look here, we can see that the command is lay ISO and it says current setting, lock the layers and fade them 50%. Well, I want them to not be there at all. And I don't necessarily want them to be locked because that means I can't erase anything, um, I'm gonna change this to off. And in paper space viewports, I'm also gonna use off. So now I can select the object. Remember, this has to be verb noun if you wanna change the settings. I go ahead, I say, hey, I wanna isolate this layer. And then there we go. Now I can hatch to my heart's content and it will not be obstructed by anything that is there. If I use this unisolate, it works because I actually did use the layer unisolate to go opposing to the lay iso command. Um, so that is an important difference between locking and isolating the layer. Let's take a look at what it does here. I'm going to isolate this layer again and take a look at the difference. It didn't lock them. It turned them off. And if you look, there it is. And if we want to bring some of that back, we can do so and still unisolate the rest of it. So that's an important difference as well. Hope this was helpful for you.